I'm Tevis Jacobs. I'm an associate professor and Whiteford faculty fellow at University of Pittsburgh. I'm also a co-founder of Surface Design Solutions. For over a decade, my research group at Pitt has been focusing on surfaces and how to make them perform better. How do you create a surface that is more slip resistant, more sticky or less sticky, more biocompatible or less biocompatible? We developed not just a science-based approach to improving surfaces, but also a machine learning data-centric way of improving surfaces. And it's actually that unique combination of physics-informed machine learning that allows us to do something that no one else can do. What drove me to the commercialization aspect is knowing that we have a technology that is broadly applicable to a wide variety of industries that won't get there any other way. The Innovation Institute helped us to understand that, okay, well, at least exploring the potential through the i program could be useful. Now, in the process of going through the i program, that's when we started to meet more of the Innovation Institute folks. We got connected with entrepreneurs and residents. We got connected with um, different people in the innovation ecosystem here. Connections about how to raise money, connections about how to create a business plan, connections about how to take an interesting idea and put it in commercializable terms. My name is Luke Timmons. I'm a co-founder of Surface Design Solutions, as well as a former PhD student here at Pitt. So immediately after leaving the research group, I went to work in industry, where I spent some time as a, as a chemist working on coatings. And I was there for about a year and a half. And in that time, the wheels were turning over here at Pitt. Tevis called me up and asked me if I was interested in, in joining this venture. And when I heard that they had, had they come up with this machine learning technology, it would enable regular engineers, regular people and manufacturers to implement this knowledge that we were trying to disseminate. I thought that was quite an exciting prospect. So right now we're working in powder-based metal manufacturing. So this is making auto components or jet engine components, pour in a metal powder, compress it uh, into the final shape, and then get it out and, and use it. So we are improving the production efficiency of that process. But what's really exciting is we're looking into medical devices, we're looking into shoes and floors, we're looking into a wide variety of different technologies um, that, can, that, that our technology can enable. I was quite surprised at the difficulty of getting the cool ideas, the cool technologies we were coming up with in our research out into the real world. If we don't do it, no one's going to. And if, if no one does, um, then all of this cool science we're doing in our, in our research lab is not gonna end up uh, out there in the real world.